Here's how to make your voice sound better in 5 minutes or less. Today let's use Adobe Audition to clean up your vocals, but you can use any other app on the marketplace. Most of us don't have a good recording environment, such as a professional studio with top tier equipment. That's why you can use this video to improve your recording without any special gear or workspace. Heck, I recorded this video on a $5 microphone in a 2x3 boxy bedroom. Not perfect, but definitely good enough. The biggest problem when you record your voice is that you end up with ugly room and mouth noises. This drastically lowers the quality of your audio. Luckily you can easily fix that in 3 simple steps. But first, open your recording in Adobe Edition by clicking File, Import and File. Then find the sample on your disk and click Open. Now let's get started. When you record with a microphone you will always end up with background noise. There's static noise from your equipment and cable connections. But there may also be noises from your room and surroundings, such as fans or moving air. Background noise is horrible for a high quality vocal. So you absolutely must get rid of it. The quickest way to do that is with a noise reduction tool. Adobe Edition has multiple options, but let's use the denoiser. Therefore click effects in the menu, select noise reduction slash restoration, and then denoise. This will bring up a new window. All you need to do is play your sample and change the amount value until the noise is mostly gone. Although it doesn't remove the noises your neighbors make at night, this is as easy as it gets. I'm Sepp from Screech House. I'm Sepp from Screech House. But here's the catch. Don't overdo it and don't underdo it. If you overdo it, your voice may end up watery and somewhat robotic sounding. If you underdo it, you will not remove enough noise. So find a sweet spot where the noise is mostly gone and don't go any further. This can be somewhere around 50%. Though it may be a bit higher or lower for you. When you're done, press apply and your voice will be much cleaner. Okay, one down, two to go. When you talk, you sometimes say the letters P, B, T, D, K and G. Naturally, these letters result in plosives. Plosives occur when the flow of air from your mouth suddenly stops and then releases. Especially if you have a slurred speech like me. Unfortunately, your microphone picks these up and can end up as loud low frequency spikes in your recording. As you can imagine, this is bad. To prevent that from happening, an easy hack is to use a pop filter. A pop filter is a shield that reduces the air pressure before it hits the microphone. But if you have a recording without, you still need a way to get rid of these awful plosives. So here's the trick. Simply use an equalizer or filter to remove the lowest frequencies. Thereby you can use any tool you wish, but let's use Adobe's FFT filter this time. And click effects in the menu, select filter and EQ, and then FFT filter. This will be a piece of cake. Simply click on the presets drop down box and select kill the mic rumble. And just like that your plosive will be part of history. Well if you make musical design sounds, hearing is crucial. Well if you make musical design sounds, hearing is crucial. The filter gets rid of the lowest frequencies up until 80 to 100 Hz. Of course feel free to play around with the frequencies to find what works best for your recording. But once you're done, press apply and you're off to the final step. Quickly before we do, unfortunately most of you are not subscribed. So if you like my content and you don't want to miss my best music making strategies, take one second right now to hit the subscribe button. It would be great to have you on board. When you're not talking, particular noises may suddenly stand out. Such as the reverb of your room or the clicks of your mouth. Yuck! Obviously you don't want those to end up in your recording. It's unprofessional and annoying at best. That's why it's important to silence the recording when needed, making it clean and tight. You can do this seamlessly with a noise gate. A noise gate can quiet the audio when the volume dips below a certain threshold. So it gets rid of anything when there's no voice. Therefore click effects in the menu, select amplitude and compression and then dynamics. Alongside some other effects, this will bring up the noise gate in Audition. Now make sure to uncheck all effects, except the outer gate by clicking the check boxes. By default most outer gate settings are pretty good. You only have to figure out the threshold. If the threshold is too low you may not remove enough noise. But worse, if the threshold is too high, you may actually start to remove some of your voice. So be careful. That actually makes me wish we could use a noise gate in real life. So the question is, how do you find the right threshold value? You can of course do this by ear, playing your sample while changing the threshold until the noise is gone, but not your voice. This will work. But there's another trick I'd like to share with you. Click Window in the menu and select Amplitude Statistics. Go to the screen on the left side and click Scan. This will generate a lot of numbers. All you have to look at is the average RMS amplitude. Then simply use that number for the outer gate threshold. 
So go to the outer gate again and give the threshold that particular value. Simply press apply and if all goes well your recording will be as clean as a whistle and as tight as a drum. Now let's get started. Now let's get started. Afterwards it can be a good idea to normalize your clip or apply some other effects, such as a de or compressor. If you want to see that in a future video, you have to let me know by leaving a comment. But right now, if you start implementing these three easy steps, your voice will sound much better almost instantly. If you want your songs to sound awesome as well, make sure to grab my book Mixing EDM Music. You can copy the best mixing tricks and instantly sound like a professional artist. If I can do it, you can do it. It's also a great way to spot screech outs, but please don't miss it. So go to the description and use the link to start straight away.